Hey Replay Viewer, Chris Duncan here, and today is the first episode of the Smash It Show. So just get myself set up, and uh, looking forward to seeing everybody jumping in. Uh, if you don't know who I am, my name is Chris Duncan. Um, I run eight um, companies, two hit seven figures in their first month, first year. Um, last one doing two million in its first year, and so today I'm going to be uh, sharing with you some questions that I got answered from the tribe. So um, I'll be with you in just a second. I uh, just got my little beagle running around doing a few things. So I'm pretty excited to be putting this show on. I get so many questions all the time and it's nice just to be able to put it all in one place um, and to hang out. So those of you who are watching the replay, thanks for checking out the replay. Um, if you want to use the hashtag, hashtag Ask Chris, I'm going to be checking it and looking for it and just asking questions on a daily download. Uh, how's that screen for everyone, by the way? I'm just using this uh, iPad set up here so I can get a bit of freedom on my uh, movement. It's good. Cool. Hey, Sherry, nice to have you on. Hey, Mandy, nice to have you on as well. Good to see some people jumping in. Uh, hey, Dean, good. Hey, how's everyone doing? Thanks for sharing. I'd really appreciate those who don't know me to say hi so I know who I'm talking to. I'll just shut that door because there's a little bit, little bit of noise coming in. Cool. Awesome. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, Mandy, good to have you on. Thanks for coming in, everyone. Uh, good to see you guys all jumping in. Now, I had some amazing questions come in. Now, I'll just introduce myself one more time for those who don't know me. Uh, my name is Christopher Duncan. Um, you can get more information from me at ChristopherMDuncan.com, my YouTube channel, or just by uh, following me right here. I'm from New Zealand, and I'm currently in Santa Monica. And uh, what I do is I help people have more freedom in their life, free their mindset, free their time, free their income, start a business. Uh, because for me, starting businesses have been very easy. I currently run eight. I have a share in 16 companies. And every single one of them give me freedom. I'm a number one best-selling author and international speaker. And I'm just a guy uh, who loves to help others have freedom. So um, Christopher with a no. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I appreciate you guys being on here and giving me some of your time. Um, no, no, not related to that. So I know one thing for sure, guys, is right now, as you hear me, is the youngest you're ever going to be in your life. So here's my first message today is stop holding on to things that, that can't help you and start moving towards what matters most to you and ask me questions. Here's the rule for this show, okay? Um, yo, so I'm from Christchurch. I'm from, I'm in Santa Monica from Wellington. Good to have you in. Write this down. Here's the, the only rule that we have for this show is you either smash your goals, you break through to total freedom, you smash it, or you're going to come in and ask me for help. Can everyone say yes, that that's totally fine? There is no waiting. You're either smashing it and you're hitting your goals, you're, you're getting what you want, or you're going to get in here, you're going to ask me for help, I'll be on every single day, you're going to use a hashtag Ask Chris, and we're just going to smash it, all right? That's it. There's only two options. You're either smashing it or you're asking for help. That's it. So let's not allow ourselves to have any... Um, place where we don't have what we want. If you haven't subscribed um, to my channel, subscribe right now. And if you haven't given me a shout out, well, now's a great time to do that better than any, especially like shout outs across Facebook and inviting your followers. So let me get into the questions. Man, we had so many, uh, from especially from, uh, from Sherry and especially from uh, Ian, uh, Jesse. I appreciate all you guys. I'm going to answer every single one of your questions. And I'm not going to miss a single one. So I have no idea how long I'm going to be on here. But I've got a webinar coming up in 52 minutes. Um, so make sure that you guys keep doing it. And I have a huge announcement coming out later. I haven't been able to get in contact of the winner of the $10,000 prize that I gave away on Sherry's show last week. So uh, I hope <laughs> that they pick their phone up in a couple of hours when I ring them just to make sure that they are who I think they are. So... I've got a lot of good questions. Okay, so the first question um, is from Sherry, and she asks, you know, what was the biggest mistake I ever made in business? Well, I'll tell you this, okay? Um, this is the, hey, thanks, Bless the Future. Good to have you on. Thanks for shouting out, and thanks for being on my YouTube. Guys, I want to I want to share with you the, the biggest mistake that I ever made. Thanks for sharing on Twitter, Jay Frederick. I appreciate you, man. Is the biggest mistake I made was building it before I sold it, okay? I built it before I sold it. I tell you what, I came out of uh, university, I had built a personal training business, and I had built a DJ company, and I'd run parties, and I'd done all sorts of different things. Thanks for sharing on Twitter, Bless the Future, I appreciate you. And so I came out of uni with a business degree, college for you Americans, and I started this company, and it was, this was in 2007, 
And what I did is, you know, this was going to be my third company and I was rocking it. I thought everything was going to be great. And what I did is I had these calling cards, one cent a minute, call wherever you want in the world that I'd created using VoIP, which is the backbones of Skype. And so here's what happened. Hey, from Jakarta, I'm going to be in uh, Indonesia in uh, January doing a speaker trainer there for people. So good to have you guys on. Please, everyone, make sure you subscribe if you want your questions answered. Uh, I have repeatedly built eight, uh, eight companies and now helped another 180 people to hit six figures. Okay, So make sure that you subscribe and get your questions answered. Here was the problem, right? I went and built this this whole product and this whole company, and I never I never got the sales in first. I wasn't revenue focused, and I had this amazing product, one cent a minute all around the world. Double tap if you think that that's a good idea. One cent a minute, everywhere you want. Well, in 2007, it was a good idea, uh, I thought, and guess what happened? No one would buy it, and I tell you why no one would buy it. They would just say, but Chris, I use Facebook now, or Chris, you know, like I don't ring every week, or, or Chris, um, I just use Skype and it's free. Or Chris, this and this and this. I just got crushed. I put six figures into it and I came out three or four months later, got nothing. So here's the biggest takeaway is you must sell it before you buy it. Let me share with you this, okay? Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Richard Branson, probably three of the biggest, three of the biggest entrepreneurs in the last 50 years. You'd have to agree they're at least in the top five. What did they all have in common that I now understand as well is that you sell it before you build it. Hey, Jolene, good to have you on. Jesse, thanks for inviting your followers. I appreciate you. So here's what they did. Let me share exactly what all of them did. Steve Jobs went and sold it, then went back and went into his, um, what's it called? He went into his, his, literally into his garage and he built all the boards and then went and delivered them. Bill Gates, he actually secured the deal for the operating software, then went and created it. And Richard Branson, he's on the phone selling advertising into his magazine before the magazine existed. So the biggest mistake I made sharing was I built it before I sold it. So you must do the opposite. So let me get into someone else's question. Great question. Thanks for, thanks for putting it in. Uh, awesome stuff. Thanks for sharing. I appreciate you guys so much. Um, Sherry, next question was, which countries do you currently do business in and why? What made you choose those countries? Well, this is huge. So we've got, um, we're just expanding this week into Australia with our juice and smoothie company. Um, my web development company, we operate in a lot in Singapore, Australia, and the US. There are three biggest countries. Um, how do I, how do I choose the countries? I mean, we, we currently have clients that are based in 12 um, countries. Here's what I believe, and I want to answer it with this, okay? I don't do business in a certain country. I do business with the biggest country of all, which is the internet. And so I want everyone to get rid of borders, okay? Here's what was funny, Sherry, uh, from New Zealand, actually. Here's what was really funny. So I came into America, and I'm on a tourist visa, and they said to me, so, you know, you're staying here for three months. How are you making money? And I actually had to say, oh, you know, I'm not. I've got some savings. Because they said to me, they said, because if you're staying three months and you're going to earn money in America, you have to tell us. And it was so weird because all the time people from the United States are buying my products online, but it goes into an Australian or a Singapore or a New Zealand bank account. Isn't that ridiculous? And so the biggest country of all is the internet. And so I'm sitting there going, I don't have borders. I'm now, I'm here, we're here for three months, then we're off, I'm going to Indonesia. I'm, uh, I'm just booking tickets, we're, we're flying off, we've got Australia straight after Indonesia, got Singapore after that, got London in February. So, you know, it, it's so funny. Um, Joey, you're going to have to use the hashtag Ask Chris, put it out on Twitter, put it on uh, Facebook, and I'll get it for the next show, mate, because I've got so many questions for this one. So, uh, the next question, Sherry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to come back to some of yours. Uh, I'm going to answer Jesse Johnson's question. Yeah, awesome, Joey. Good to have you on. And make sure you uh, you subscribe. You should have a business without borders. There is no reason. There is no reason why you can't just fly into a country. Let, let me share something with you. I flew into uh, Singapore where I done marketing. There was an event there. There was 130 people waiting in a room for me, waiting because of the online marketing. They had all paid to be there. I turn up. I deliver. I offer my products. I leave. Five hours later with $160,000 more in my bank account than when I started. Triple tap if you want to do that. That's what I'm teaching in Bali, by the way, how to run events and, and to smash that out. So you guys got to understand there are no borders and you got, you got to be able to build a business online. And when you can do that, you truly will have freedom, true freedom. So Jesse's question was this. I want to help people get through a specific addictions that I battled through and I know I can get them results. But I'm not a doctor, licensed therapist, etc. How do I navigate through the legal and credibility blocks? Here's the first thing, okay? 
here's the first thing that you've got to understand, Jesse, and everyone needs to understand this. I'm going to see you in Bali, Sherry. By the way, Bishop's already got your ticket organized. We just got to get flights and passports and stuff. So here's what you've got to understand, Jesse, is the most credibility, the most credibility is real world results. Hands down, nothing else. All that bit of paper that that therapist had is just rubbish compared to real world results, okay? I want you to know this. Let me ask everyone a question. I want everyone to play full out and answer me right now. Would you rather go to a personal trainer that's got the certificate or the personal trainer who has lost the weight? Which one would you prefer? Would you prefer go to the one that's got the certificate that's always been fit, always been healthy, or would you rather go to the one that used to be 100 kilos or you know 300 pounds and has dropped to 150 pounds, right? So that's right, the one that lost the weight. So Jesse, more people are gonna resonate with you because you're the one that's done it. You have real world results. Now here's the second thing to it, Jesse, is you probably should, if you're gonna go and deal in those spaces, okay, you probably should get some something else, right? You should back it up with something so you actually know what to do with the people, all right? But it doesn't even, it, it doesn't have to be you. You can just be the inspiration. You can find someone who's good, who's got the credibility. So the other thing that you can have, guys, is stop trying to think you have to do it yourself. Let me, let me really get this across to you, everybody. Stop thinking you have to do it yourself. Stop it, okay? So guys, I'm about to, I'm about to launch a health product for entrepreneurs, okay? <laughs> I'm about to launch, it's gonna be called the Entrepreneur Explosion, and it's gonna be for entrepreneurs who just wanna blow up their energy. But I'm not, I'm not a doctor or anything like that. So I'm partnering with Dr. Jerry Rosenove, and he's going to come in, and he's going, he's a chiropractor, he's an osteopath, he's a polarity healer, he's all these things. He's coming in, right? So you got to understand this, everybody. Business isn't about you, Jesse. You can be the brand, and you can find somebody else to do the fulfillment. Guys, there's three pieces in a business. Write it down. There's marketing, there's sales, there's fulfillment. Guess what earns the lowest amount of money? Guess which one? Who can guess? Is it marketing, sales, or fulfillment? It's every single time the fulfillment. It's the fulfillment, right? So, Jesse, you gotta understand, you do the branding, you do the marketing, you be the face that got through these addictions, and then you find somebody else who's the doctor to freaking do all the hard work. Guys, there's only one way that I run 16 companies, I have a piece in 16, I have eight that are 100% mine. There's only one way that I do that is because I don't do it. I am just the person who facilitates it. And this is where we've got to get the shift. Everybody write this down. The shift from job to entrepreneur is a shift from I have to do it to a who can I get to do things for me. And this is the shift. Right now, everybody is in this, this struggle and it's literally like you're the caterpillar turning into a butterfly and you're struggling, you're going, and you're just taking this whole job mindset and I see people put it into an entrepreneur place and they look at it and they look at me and they go, but how would you be able to run eight companies? You must have no time. I'm like, no, hashtag total freedom. I have so much time because the shift is absolutely real. Everybody, give me a shout out. I'm going to get the next question. Um, can you please just do me, uh, make sure that you've subscribed so you don't miss one of these. Subscribe down here. And uh, can you give me a shout out across Twitter if you think this is valuable um, or invite your followers on Periscope and I'll get the next question. But yeah, Jesse, stop being a workhorse, mate. Stop it. All right. So the next question that I really loved, okay, was um, was Ian. And he says, if you encourage people to pursue their money-making activity before their passion, what are some tips in researching the industry for their money-making activity? Okay. Here's what you got to understand, and I want everyone to get this. I think the conversation of starting a business around your passion is a conversation I'm so sick of hearing, and I want to tell you why. If you start a business around what you're passionate about, guess what? You have to keep doing stuff. How many of you double tap if that makes sense to you? Okay. If you go and start something around what you're passionate about, guess what? You're going to keep freaking doing it. Okay. Now, if you want to build a billion dollar company, then it's going to be something you're passionate about. But if you just want to create a seven figure company or maybe multiple six figures, you must look for opportunities before you look for what you're passionate about. Guys, remember, subscribe to my channel because I'm going to be doing, I'm going to answer all your questions. So his question is this. He says, well, Chris, if I'm not going to follow something that I'm passionate about, where, what should be my money making activity and what should I do? Everybody hear me on this, okay? Everybody hear me. You and me and everyone on this call are different. 
we have a different resonance, we have a different vibration, we're going to attract a different person. The biggest money-making activity is being the brand and doing the online marketing for others to do the fulfillment. Hands down, hands down. All you have to do, watch this, okay? I hope you're listening, everybody. You want to start a business right now, you want to quit your job, you want to hit seven figures, this is all you got to do. You must go and find somebody who's amazing at doing the work. Guys, listen to this. <laughs> there is so many people who love being a chiropractor or love being a massage therapist or love being a coach or love doing something, building websites, okay? Now, they actually love it because they're not listening to me yet. But the thing is, you go find them and you say, hey, Mr. Person over there that loves coaching or consulting or doing massage or doing uh, coaching, do you want to have more clients? And they say, yes, I want to have more clients because I just love being a personal trainer. And it's like they're in love with it. And it, you just go, awesome. I'm so glad you're in love with it. Are you, are you busy? Are you like, could you take on? How many clients could you take on? If they're doing amazing work and you believe in them, then you go, well, let me tell you what. I'm going to come into your business at no charge and I am going to help you with the branding and the marketing so you can get really, really, really busy doing what it is that you love. And guess what they'll say? This is what they've all said to me. Oh my God, Chris, that would be absolutely amazing. And I go, no problems, awesome. And then all you do is you work on the sales and marketing, you automate that, and this person gets busy and they just work their butt off for you and you create this online automated income stream and then she does it for you. Does that make sense? Are you guys seeing it? So here's what you do. Number one, you find somebody's product, like maybe one of my products or someone else's products that you know works. You know it's phenomenal and you love it. And then you look at them and you say, do you want to get more, do you want to be busier? And they say yes every time. And then you invest in the sales and marketing. So check this out. Let's just say that you 100% you believe in a chiropractor, right? And uh, you go, wow, okay, you're amazing. Do you want to have more clients? They say yes every single time. So what you do is you create the sales and the marketing to fill up their practice. So they get so busy, right? And then they go, well, Chris, look, I'm so busy. You go, no problem. You just go find the next chiropractor. You walk up to the next chiropractor. You go, do you know what I've created? I've created the way to fill up a chiropractor studio. Would you like me to do it for your company as well? They say yes every single time. Boom. And I'm not just saying chiropractors. I'm talking about any business from accountants to tax planning, travel people, whatever it is. Guys, you need to understand this. Okay. If you want to smash it, if you want to take your life to the next level, stop finding things you have to do and start finding ways to not do stuff. Okay, so here is what you've got to understand, is the most profitable place in any business is the sales and marketing. The person who owns that and can do that is always, always, always going to make more money than the person that actually does it. And it's so hard for people to get over. It is so hard for them to get over. They think that it's all about the doing. It's not. Okay, right. That's it, Joey. So here's what you've got to understand. Write this down. You must master online sales and marketing. Write it down. You must have mastery. This is what I teach, okay? You must have mastery. When you have that, you're going to have total safety. You're always going to be able to business, build, build a business from wherever you want. Guys, I'm in Santa Monica right now. I am so far away from my clients. I'm so far away from where I grew up. I'm so far away from where everyone is. But guess what? Last week, I had my biggest week in business for about three or four months. Isn't that cool? Okay, thank you so much for being on here and thanks for asking the questions. Um, what's the best place to call for a patient? I am in your opinion. Cool. I don't know what that means. Patent. Master of online sales. Yeah, cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. How's everyone doing out there? I hope this is valuable. Is this valuable? <laughs> I hope so. Um, so Ian's next question is, what's the number one tip on shifting from an employee mindset to a total freedom mindset? Okay. So, can I just do a quick another shout out? Please make sure you subscribe. Those people have just jumped on. Uh, my name is Christopher Duncan. I'm a freedom business builder. I help you have more freedom in your life so you do what matters most. In fact, uh, number one bestseller of the Freedom Business Blueprint and uh, about to launch another book uh, next year. You love my beard. Thank you. <laughs> hey, everyone, give me a shout out across your networks. I appreciate you, and it makes a valuable exchange. <laughs> Total Freedom TV, this is a smash it show. And here's the rule for this show. You either smash it or you ask for help. And this is where you ask for help, okay? So you either smash it or ask for help, and that's it. I have to keep moving this because these questions keep coming in, which is awesome. So thank you so much for being on here. Okay. So the number one tip from shifting to an employee mindset to a total freedom mindset is this, okay? Is you must drop the ego of doing it all. 
You must drop the ego that you are the best and you must start realizing that I, I hear this all the time. I've got this video guy comes to me and he goes, he goes like this to me. He says, uh, he says, Chris, but no one can do video like me. And I just looked at him. I said, who are you to say that? <laughs> no one can do video like me. I'm like, well, I'll tell you what, if no one can do video like you, you're never going to have freedom. So you must do this. Okay. The one thing you must understand, the number one shift is you must own what you're the best at and give up trying to learn everything. So Ian, if you want to shift a total freedom mindset, stop learning anything but branding and marketing and sales. That's all you need to understand. Stop learning anything else because all of that someone else can do. Okay. Really good question. Um, Next question. What do I do with all my free time? Well, that's a good question, Ian. Okay. And I, I want you guys to really get this is I could be sitting on a beach. In fact, when I, when I got total freedom, I share with you the story. I'm sitting on a beach with my laptop. I do a webinar. It was 90 minutes. I'm not wearing shoes. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing a suit jacket. Okay. At the end of this, I pitch my product and I have 26 people buy a $495 product and make $13,000, okay, in 90 minutes. And I'm sitting on this beach in Thailand going, holy crap, I could just stay here forever. How many of you would love to just stay there forever? Well, that's what I thought. But then I realized really quickly this thing in my heart just came up and it went bang. And, I, and it said, you're going to get so bored of sitting on the beach. So it said to you, it said, this is what you got to do. And I, and I actually had a really spiritual download. And the download said this, now you've freed yourself, you must free others. And so my whole life right now, my whole life, Ian, is taken up with this one question. How do I inspire, coach, and mentor, and help more people to live with total freedom to do what matters most? So what do I do with my free time? This. My business is making my money, and I just love and I'm so inspired by, uh, by giving these messages. So... Super, super, super appreciate. Next question is, do dropship businesses fall into the category of freedompreneur? And what is their point of return on investment? Guys, here's what I talk about uh, dropshipping. Dropshipping's great. So there's three different levels of products, okay? You've got to understand this. Everyone get this, okay? Products are the bottom level. Then you must add a service onto it. And then above service, okay, is transformation. And there's the the entrep the um, the levels of value, okay? Products, the bottom level. So what you got to do is we're actually just doing a barbecue business. So yesterday we launched a barbecue business with this guy who's a, a number one um, barbecue chef, okay? So listen to me on this. We could just sell his barbecue products. He's got these amazing rubs and amazing cookbooks and things. But I said to him, I said, that's going to be great. That's going to make you a small amount of money. We can, we can make maybe half a million dollars a year off that. But screw half a million. That's chump change. The way we need to go big is we need to create a service. So what we've done is we've created training programs and services. And then I said, we need to create experiences. So next year, he's doing a whole range of come hang out with me and I'll cook your barbecue or teach you an experience right at the top. So you must understand the ascension ladder. So Ian, I think drop shipping businesses are great. If you don't know what a drop shipping business is, it basically is this is you, someone buys a product and it gets sent straight from the company to your customer, you never touch it. Ian, my first company that went big was a drop ship company with water filters, okay? And the problem was, you know, we did 250,000 in one week and we made a ton of money. But the problem is, is that we had so much cost and so much other things. If I knew what I knew now, I'd have just added so many services and other things on top. Absolutely, Andrea, there's a, uh, those of you who wanna learn more from me, Go to my YouTube channel and subscribe. Make sure you subscribe to this. But also, you need to be in my Freedom Fast Track program. I have a 12-month mentorship. You know, Reach out to me if you want to know more about it. Um, my intention isn't to talk about it. But if you truly want to go big, I have a mentorship. Sherry's in it. So the next thing is from Jay. Jay Frederick. Jay, are you on? I hope you're on. I've got your question here. Um, when have... You pulled out, withdrawn from a business partnership, and why? What lessons did you learn from yourself about? Oh, good question. Good question. So the question is, when have you pulled out, withdrawn from a business partnership, and why? What lessons did you learn for yourself uh, about being in business? Jay, this is, uh, this is such, a, such a good question, okay? This is the number one takeaway from partnerships, is if one plus one isn't equaling four, it's a really bad partnership. So I give every single partnership, okay, I give it a six-month window to see if it works or not, okay? So here's, here's, what I, here's what I mean. If I could make 100% and they come in 
two. If it only equals two, there's no point having the partnership because there's all sorts of stuff that can go wrong. It's no point even having a partnership that equals three. It must equal four. Does that make sense? One plus one must equal four. If it doesn't equal four, then I'm not gonna. I'm not getting a, a good ROI on the partnership with all the things that can go wrong. The second thing I would say about partnerships is before you sign business partnership agreements and go totally into business, okay, what you should do is one person should contract to the other person for the first year. You should be completely separate entities and you should just you should just have a, a shared bank account, but one person should send the other person invoices instead of actually being in a, a, a true partnership. After a year, you'll learn a lot about somebody and my new rule is I never ever go on business with someone for at least 12 months. So right now, um, I've got people that are having business partnerships that are even on this call, but if I don't know them for 12 months, there's no way that I'm signing a full business partnership with them and uh, going into tax and everything else, right? Cool. Good stuff. There's so many good questions in here, uh, and I hope you guys are all enjoying it. <laughs> I must have scared some people off. <laughs> it's good. So those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Chris Verdunkin. Uh I'm a freedom business guy. <laughs> I help people build freedom in their life, free their mindset, uh, free their time, free their income, build businesses to seven figures, being time free. And here's what you got to understand is right now you can you can live a millionaire lifestyle of 200 grand if you have the time. I know so many multimillionaires that have no time and they go, they have to drive into crappy offices and sit in these, you know, sit in traffic and they have all this money in the bank account, but they don't have a life. And every day I shoot videos from the beach just feeling so, so, so grateful. <laughs> Gary V, what's happening at Gary V? It's not freedom. But I, I do believe this. I do believe somebody like Gary Vaynerchuk has freedom. You know, even though he hustles, I think that's freedom to him. I think that's, here's, here's what you've got to define, okay? must define freedom for you. And this is how I define freedom. Freedom is, you ask yourself the question, what would you do for free? Write it down. What would I do if money was no object? And I think Gary would build businesses even if he wasn't making money. I truly think that. I think he's an absolute legend. And so if you're doing what you would do for free, then that's freedom. If you would sit in traffic and drive into an office and that's what you would do once you would complete your rich. So, so here's what you gotta ask yourself. Ask yourself this. I make a million dollars tomorrow and then I realize that I have a million dollars coming in every single week for the rest of my life, okay? That's only 52 million a year, it's a, it's a sizable business, okay? And then you gotta ask yourself, what would I do then? The first thing, you, you'd support your family, I got it. The next thing, you would go on a holiday, and then what, all right? You got the rest of your life. And so whatever the answer to that is, that is what you need to be doing with your life right now. And so, you know, I believe that Gary is somebody who talks a lot about hustle, but I think for him, that's freedom. And um, I would love to have him on my show at some point. We've got some cool people coming up uh, on my podcast. I hope he's one of them soon. So the next question is from Mandy. And uh, Mandy, it was such, and, uh, so good to have a conversation with you. Um, I know it's not even a question. <laughs> it's just a comment. It's awesome. I do want to talk a little bit about the cycle of success, though, and how that works. And I, and I want to I want to share it with everyone. Sorry, I missed the, I missed whatever question came through, Sherry. I was looking at my computer, guys. I also want you to know I'm going to do this show as regular as possible. It's going to be it's the smash it show. And here's here's the whole concept. You're either going to smash your goals or you're going to ask for help. And this is the place to ask for help. So you're going to use the hashtag just ask Chris for now. Um, I can't think of a better one. If I can think of a better one, then uh, then that's great. So. The cycle of success is a really important one, okay? And it's like a diamond, okay? And it starts turning like a cog. Down the bottom is your results. Now, when I ask people what gives you results, they always say some sort of action. So write this down, your action equals your results. But what actually causes your actions, okay? Well, in order to take the right actions, okay, you must have, <laughs> thanks Jesse, or it's SMA shit. <laughs> so then the other thing at the top, okay, is you must have the right strategy. So in order to take the right actions, correct actions, you must have the correct strategy. So strategy equals actions equals results, right? But here's the thing, is I can give you my strategy, but most people don't actually take the right action. Even though they've got the right strategy, they don't take their action, because there's one more piece. So it's a diamond like this. And this piece over here is belief and mindset. 
So here's what happens, is if you believe that you can take million dollar actions, then when you get the million dollar strategy, you take the million dollar actions and you get a million dollar result. And what happens is that result then increases your belief to a million five, which then you, when you get the million five strategy, then you can take the action, then you get the results. And it goes round and round and round like this. But there's an opposite cycle. And the cycle goes like this. It says, uh, I don't have good belief. So even though I get the right strategy, because strategy is everywhere, right? I can teach you the strategy how to million, two, three. I can tell you right now, okay? So then, then you, don't do, you don't follow through on the strategy, even though you think you do, think you're taking the action. So the results go down. What happens when the results go down? People's action goes down. And the strategy might stay the same, but their belief goes down. So they can only take on a little less of the strategy. And then their results go down, and the cycle actually goes backwards. So I need you to understand this. There are two things you need for the success and for the success cycle to go. One, you need a proven strategy that gets you what you want in your life. I hear so many people going and starting a business or doing something, maybe it's a multi-level marketing company, but they hate talking to people. And I'm like, that's not the right strategy for you. We all have a, a, a correct entrepreneurial personality type and we must choose the right thing. And then we must have the belief that supports that strategy. And so there is a success cycle. Look, I think I've answered half the questions that came through on that post, Sherry, and uh, I love it. I think in the, the Living Free group, I'm going to allow everyone just to ask the questions um, using the hashtag Ask Chris, because otherwise I'm going to be here for um, the rest of the day. But I, I just love you guys so much, and thanks for jumping on, um, and thanks for following, and thanks for sharing and shouting out. So if you've watched the replay, um, you need to be on live. And to be on live, you need to subscribe by pressing on that little head there, and uh, subscribe comes up. Those of you who are still on, I appreciate you shouting out and sharing because when I see 50 people jumping on live, it means I want to do this more because it, it really helps my mission. And here's my mission. I want 10,000 people to live with total freedom, which means they have all of their time to do what matters most. This is what it means. They must have time and money freedom to be able to go and do it. So if you're sitting there listening to me and you go, you know what, I want to work with Chris, then you need to find a way to get in touch with me, get past my gatekeepers, and find a way to get into the program. Sherry did it, so maybe you'll ask her how to do it as well. I do have a 12-month mentorship. I do have other things that you can do, but I'm not going to tell you where to go. Josh, Master Host, is in there as well. You can find it. Um, go and support me, go and share my YouTube videos, use the hashtag, make sure you're seen by your phone if you enter the competition because I am ringing that person um, later. I love you guys so much. Live with total freedom, free your mind, free your time, free your life so you can do what matters most and smash it, right? The smash hit. <laughs> use the hashtag we are living free and the hashtag ask Chris and I will find it. Uh, I'm probably gonna be on later. I'm just about to shoot a couple videos and I've got, in 23 minutes, Sherry, we've got our, our mentorship. Josh, Sherry, in 23 minutes, we've got a, a Zoom meeting with Bishop. So I'll see you on that. Love you guys.